Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jessica Lee Sabres from the Rounding Off Affinity Gaming Channel on YouTube and the E2KG Network Podcasting Channel on YouTube, here with another episode of the Replication Anecdotes. The Replication Anecdotes is my sub-branding title that I use for any Let's Plays featuring me playing games in the simulation genre, or just driving vehicles in general, even if it's arcadey. We're going to be getting things started tonight with a little Forza Horizon 4. It's going to be a pretty short live stream, uh, just probably under an hour from wheels up to wheels down. Uh, probably we got actually a lot of vehicle inventory management to do tonight. So we'll be doing audio checks to make sure that uh, We got good voiceover commentary coming out on the live stream. So this is a slightly different setup, but hopefully we'll be getting started here pretty soon. So uh, can we get confirmation that we've got good voiceover commentary coming out on the live stream? Make a verification that I've got good voiceover commentary coming out in the live stream. One more time, good confirmation that I got good voiceover commentary coming out in the live stream. Okay, so it sounds like we are pretty good. I just realized one problem with a problem that I'm trying to fix with my live streams. Which is gonna make things a little difficult. I am uh, I don't know why that's doing that. Screen shifts a little. So I had a problem last live stream where uh, I inadvertently muted my mic. And I couldn't tell, so I'm trying to figure out a way to get a voice, an active voice meter on the screen. Just one of those little bits of admin overhead. I have to check. So I had, had a lot of herky jerky with startup tonight. So I guess it needs several more seconds to optimize for my PC. Hopefully, we'll actually get to play a game tonight. My seating position is a little bit different. Are we still optimizing? Mm -mm -mm. I guess I got one other thing I can fix while we're waiting on that.
I don't know why I'm getting all this stuff. <laughs> I think I don't think I need Forza for to access my microphone tonight. <laughs> Series 15 update. Windows 10 PCs released on 22 October. Okay, great. Barrett Jackson. Nerve. Cutting edge performance I guess there's a lot of stuff oh, that uh, has come out from Ford that, uh, that I haven't that I have access to that I haven't um, the biggest event Horizon has ever assembled. It's time for Lego Speed Champions. I apparently cannot skip this. Take on hundreds of brick challenges. Build your very own Lego house, and then fill your garage with scaled-up racing machines to take on the competition and be crowned the ultimate Lego Speed Champion. Time to play with the biggest Lego toy box you've ever seen. Oof. All right. I'm sorry, the docking station is in between me and the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Holy cow. What the flock. Great Scott. Robin, we got so much stuff on here. This is all new. Is this part of the season? Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do Welcome this. Welcome back, Rusty. Okay, there we go. This is my normal view. Whew. I can enter the house or I can drive. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what I, what I want to do is I... I need to manage my car inventory first. Okay. So this is a bit of a pain, but in order to make sure that I don't have any cars in my garage that I haven't actually claimed, my VIP membership or my C-Zone Pass. So everything here should cost money because the first time you claim it, it doesn't cost you anything. So if there's anything that I come across here that is free, that means I haven't actually claimed it in InWorld. And they still, I, what I wish is, I wish they just had a filter, a button here. Okay, so everything has been claimed. Uh, I have all the car packs. Far as I can tell. Let's go to the garage. What in the world am I wearing? All right. Yep. Uh, oh, do I have to click to select it? Yep. I have yet to unlock any mustaches. No gloves. All right, we will not set up. <laughs> All right. 
think that's everything I need to do with my character. Let us check out Danger Sign Hero. Let's go pick a car. This is another thing that just needs a letter button. Now I am in, where am I in my Torag? It's not even listed down here. Alright, we'll pop into the Beamer M5. Now, this is a car that has not been tuned in fashion yet. Is a class it is a class A car, so we'll juice it to eight hundred. Which will cost you forty six K. And then slap a skin on it. interesting skins for this car, but fine, we'll do this one. Uh, why is that not selected yet? Weird. So once we get this on, we can go ahead and get going, All right? Hey, get the map. Nope. There it is. Horizon Lego Valley. What are you waiting for? Instructions? Tonight, the Stig drives some very fast farm equipment. I hail a taxi. So I don't know that I'm going to get the Lego tonight. Informed, a bit of a fan favorite around Let's try here. Try to find a more standard uh, event. I've got another right. opportunity for you. How would you like to work with Alex on the festival upgrade service? It'll be fun. Gonna get through a lot of these audio cues, I guess. Are we done? Do I have control? Okay, I do have control. for what new stuff I have to the south. It's a top gear event here. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Easy, Rusty. Where am I? Ooh. <laughs> yards. Turn right. Not used to I gotta get back east. Looking at the map and driving. I haven't played Forza Horizon 4 in who knows how many months. The whole Forza is. Whoa! That's right! England. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this thing handles like a dream. Beamer's amazing! Alright, 
Alright, so we're going to head down to this Top Gear event. I don't know if this Top Gear event is a, just a regular series of events. I don't think I've played any of the Top Gear stuff per se. Good familiarization, refamiliarization drive to get accustomed to the whoa, game physics engine. It's so bit uncomfortable. Whoa, no, you don't. Maybe not quite comfortable. Well, the good thing is when you start a new event. All your damage is repaired. Let's see how badly I messed the car up. Huh. Guess that was a soft bump up against that fence. Nothing to worry about, Governor. Is not where I'm headed. Game still looks gorgeous. Four hundred yards. Turn right. Turn right. So one of the things I definitely want to do is uh, listen to whether or not the in-game audio mix balance is good. So we pulled up to a stop here. Alright, so I think the audio mix balance is good. That's where I was uh, just checking over there in the clip. Hit this Top Gear event. Now if this turns out to be derpish, then we will roll on and find out. Find another uh, more standard canonical event. This might just be regular racing. We're just branded by Top Gear for in game advertising. Tonight, the Stig drives some very fast farm equipment. I hail a taxi and finishing with something that I'm reliably for <laughs> is a bit of a fan favorite around here. I 
I'm Chris Harris, and this is the Top Gear Horizon Special. Is he? Stay uh, above Vanny yes, Perrara. Our okay. very own UFO. Unidentified fast object. The world's least obedient racing driver. I'm assuming I have to right, do it without wrecking the car. A 90s classic based on the age-old roadster Whoa. recipe. Two seats, engine in the middle, rear-wheel drive. Not an ounce of fat. This is what driving is all about. Okay. Here we go. Um, I under t a time limit to get to the destination. I got 4.3 miles. But this isn't just any Elise. It's a Sport 190, a tuned-up, stripped-out Elise for track days. Even the passenger seat is an option. This is uh, nerve-wracking, <laughs> interesting, and heavy. So, like I said, I haven't played any of these top gear right, events. It's not the fastest way around a corner, but it's definitely the most entertaining. I guess this is just a series of challenges that they give you to it weighs well under 700 kilos and get through 90 horsepower from its 1.8 liter engine which lifts to 8,000 rpm just listen to that fortunately it's spring in England can't imagine what this would be like if uh, it were inclement weather Going good so far. Yes, that's it. The honorable art of drifting. <laughs> and of course, because it's a Lotus, it sticks to the I don't know that I need to play all seven chapters of this thing Colin or anything. Chapman. Simplify then add lightness, he said. The Sport 190 also adds a full roll cage, just in case. Cars will you look in the corners. You've got it. The trick with drifting is to not actually spin, but to almost spin. Oh, okay. Now I see the possible. time of their three minutes. You know, one mile left. Should be able to make it. If I don't off track and misread the route. Ooh, this is ending in the hub. Let's hope it doesn't get nasty down here. Airboard! Made it! Was there ever any doubt? The Series 1 Elise is, after all, one whoa, of the whoa, best whoa, handling whoa. cars ever made. <laughs> the Sport 190 is its hardcore cousin, a road-going <laughs> racer you can drive to work. Not a bad way to get acclimated back to the Series. Two stars! It's true agricultural transport you're that. after, we have just the <laughs> Oh, why am I All right. Credits. So I continue to be in the middle of kind of revamping how I'm going to come up with my gameplay playlist. So. Ooh, wheel spin. So I'm a little unclear what I'm going to be playing for the next live stream Thursday night. It should be a regularly scheduled stream since I won't have to record the podcast like we did tonight. And we got to, off to a late start because uh, Osiris Prime had some family stuff to take care of. So the podcast recording got started late. My gaming got started late. The live stream kicked off late. So here we are. Uh, fine, we'll continue the thing. Next chapter. Ooh, BMW 1M. Great car. Hang on, that's my BMW 1M. <laughs> Park at the destination without exceeding the damage limit. Who gave stick the keys? That all being said, who am I kidding? I love Forza Horizon 4. I try to keep myself away from playing this game or uh, any of my favorite racing games because I know doggone well. I, mean, I didn't force myself to play other stuff. I would do nothing but race. 
understand. And what we might well, do for Thursday watch. night session. Turn right. Uh oh! It's a BMW, mm. so of course it's rear wheel drive. 50 50 weight distribution, too. It's a nice right, That's some damage. Drifter. Not without trail breaking the hell out of this thing. Well, so what we might do. I don't know if I can get it. We may hook up the wheel and pedals for Thursday. That's the last time we leave Stig unattended. Am I the only one who remembers Budapest? <laughs> it's electronically restrained to 155 miles an hour, but it could definitely go quicker. Nope, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have a uh, below the speed limit thing so here. To 60 in 4.8 seconds, my 1M. The heck is that? Farm equipment. 335 horsepower, two turbos, as much sideways action as you like. Nope, nope. Ooh. Turn left. Great. I still got two and a half miles to go. Oh! Might be failing this mission. This thing is not as well planted as the Lotus. Two miles. If I don't run into any kind of goofy traffic, I might actually be okay. One of the best BMWs ever made this. 1.2 miles. This circle is going to give me a... does kind of it. Little ish-ish here. Take the second exit. Go, go, get around that guy. Easy, easy. Look at the smoke. Please leave easy. me tread for the drive oh. home, Stiggy. Seriously, come on. Damage is good. Oh, don't be changing lanes in here. Almost there now. Really getting into that. Just pop it up nasty. There's a turbo button. There's no turbo button in Forza. Oh, snap us. Ah, flip. Easy, easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How am I doing on time? Yeah, 20 seconds to get there. Where am I supposed to park this thing? Anyone else want to go? Made it? No. Don't say I didn't ask. Did I make it? Right. Nice. Back to the actual script now, if you don't mind. This is Top Gear's track tour. It's a tractor, obviously, but with a 5.7 litre Chevy V8 making 500 horsepower. Are you kidding me? And here comes the stick. <laughs> Farm stick. Born in a barn, they say. Weaned by pigs. Can plow a field in under six seconds. <laughs> There's a speed camera on the M68. Rumor has it the speed that the speed is above 87.2 miles an hour. Our tractor has been officially clocked at 87.2 miles an hour, making it the world's fastest tractor. Well below the top speed required for uh, time travel, so I guess we'll be able to... Uh beat the speed camera without engaging the flux capacitor. You gotta love the back to the future humor. So I have to admit I won't be entirely satisfied with tonight's session if we don't do anything but skill based events. However, this is knocking down some easy credits and some XP. And I'm hard pressed to resist. Steady on, Stig. 
Those are 54 inch mud tires, remember? They get a bit squishy through the corners. Nobody needs to get the harvest in that quickly. Nice. I am the Stig T-shirt. It's also incredibly pleasant to be playing this on the ultra wide screen uh, monitor. It looks good. Next chapter. I called a cab earlier. Local company, Aisha's Taxis. Excellent service. Got me here in no time. Unsurprising, really. I mean, look at what turned up. Hands down, the quickest cab I've ever been in. Which got me thinking, how fast could this thing actually go? I reckon I am not going to be pleased with the... To Bamber Beach, in fact, where we could stretch the taxi... Whoa, 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 whoa. Although, I might have forgotten to tell her who'd be driving. Who in the heck is this thing? will always get you to your destination very early... But probably won't be anywhere this? Near where you this are is to out of go. control. Those tires must be worn now. This so feels like one piece to oh. In 200 yards, turn left. Too fast. There's no damage meter, just time. This thing feels like uh, a striker. This is a V12 with over 750 horsepower, plus bucket seats. Beaded bucket seats, presumably. This thing is ridiculously fast. Oh! Does it help that it's uh, wet driving conditions? Have wide bodies and flared arches. Think about it. More stability, more speed, more downforce, more room for your terrifying. Ridiculous. 120 miles per hour in the cab. Oh, yes. I'll throw it. Spot on. Lightning reactions. Quick. Whoa. Wasn't paying attention how sharp that corner was. Oh. Uh, I didn't pay attention there either. Whoa! Jeez! Even has <laughs> I was looking at the blast text message at the bottom. So they should be about whatever achievement or trick shot or whatever I just got. Are we just gonna smash through the wall? Oof. That would have been okay, except for the spin there. Oh my dude! Oh no! That's right, the walls. Oh, the walls don't break if you're going too slow. What do I got? I got another minute and a half to make it two miles. I guess they're pretty uh, generous and forgiving on the time on this thing. Figuring that most people would... Ugh! Oh. Ugh! Oh. Jeez. <laughs> most people would have a problem with it. This is impossible. In four hundred yards. 
yards. Turn left. Turn left. Keep over speeding the turns. Ooh. Four hundred yards. Turn left. This mess here. Turn left. Actually, paying attention to the turn direction turn this time. Right. Ooh. Right, I stand corrected. I thought this was going to be an, an easy get. May not be the case. Yes, I know this is all very good, uh, but we really need to nail this bit. Guess I'll be doing this over again. Reload. Someone had a oh, word wow. with Aisha. Asked if we could borrow her cab for a trip to the seaside. To Bamborough Beach, in fact, where we could stretch the taxi's legs a bit. Although... I might have forgotten to tell Man, they didn't even give me a heads up or uh, the cabby will always get you to your destination green light start early, or anything but probably won't be anywhere near take things a little more seriously this time in 200 yards turn left turn left I'm sure making the turns on time will actually help oh Oh, turgid. Doofed the car already. Now that's what I call a cab. No clattery diesel engine here. This is a V12 with over 750 horsepower. Plus bucket seats. <laughs> 750 <laughs> horsepower. Seats, presumably. So ridiculous. Big problem this car is causing me is it's so quick. And not just fast, but quick off the line too in acceleration that uh trying to watch the so map I say all cabs should have wide or an under route. Fast. Think about it. More stability, more speed, more downforce. It's just rough. For your terrified passengers. Starting to trail break a little more now. It's a thing that I generally prefer to do. It even has but when I first start up on a, bone dry a racing game that I haven't played so in a be while, interesting when we hit the beach. Turn right. I often forget. It takes me the first few races to remember. But now we got it. I think we're going to start hitting some more traffic density. Oh! I couldn't see him coming over the hill. Oh, no, Halo. In 400 yards, turn left. Turn left. Are we doing on time? We got about a minute fifteen to go. Oh, yeah, we got it this time. In four hundred yards, turn left. So we're gonna push it. Uh... Thought I only had eight tenths of a mile to go. Turn left. In four hundred yards, turn right. Feels like I have further to go than that. Since it's only 500 something yards now. Turn right. Turn left. I am uh, not doing all that. Good work from the stick there. I'd say we're nicely warmed up for the next bit. That should be about five events. So here we are then. 
In the old days, daredevils used smooth, sandy beaches like this to see how fast their cars could go. Many early land speed records were set on beaches. Miles of space, nothing to hit. Sounds easy, right? Oh, look at that! Laying some pretty squirmy tracks there, Stiggy. That's what happens with 750 horsepower on sand. But that's the challenge here. Go as fast as possible all the way to the top of the beach. The thing is, there's something I haven't told the stick. Oh boy. I guess one thing is there's water in between there, it's on a straight line. I guess I could just blow through it. Speed record rules say you must do two runs, one in each direction, before the clock runs out. Which means, Stiggy, pulling off the world's swiftest U-turn. Which, of course, is when the handbrake comes in handy. Are you kidding me? Well, there's no way I'm going to get there now. I mean, he didn't even, he hadn't even fully told me that I had to turn around before the time would almost run out. Yeah, there's no way. Because had I known that, I would not have barreled through the IP. Okay. The yeah. Mini cab. Still mission complete. That's fine. Next time I need a ride to the airport, I know who I'm calling. And all of this off-road action has given me an idea. <laughs> all right. This is pretty much just a big warm-up to what I hope will be a pretty awesome gaming session uh, Thursday night. What do we got next? I think I'm actually going to take tomorrow night off from gaming. It'll be a rare instance for me. This is Project EAT. That's Maybe go ahead and uh, get the podcast edited terrain. and get it it's posted. It's a modified Merc built by the Top Gear magazine team for finding bears in the woods. Not many bears around here, though. Mostly badgers. Still, there's definitely <laughs> some terrain. Lots of it. All you need is a good sense of direction. Or not. Here's Stig again, looking lost. Terrified of... This is also bad, because this is definitely a... Uh, directly south. The kind of game that I would just stay up and play all night. The EAT Am I has a time a smooth V6 diesel. It'll do 155 miles an hour on the road. I'm going to drive going, some pretty uh, neat vehicles. Roads. First up, it's a trip to the top of Glen Rannick by any means necessary and against the clock, naturally. But don't worry, it has knobbly tires and a roof rack for carrying extra knobbly tires. <laughs> That's a four-wheel drive car on mud tires completely sideways. You'd do well in rallying with skills like that. Top draw drifting, I reckon. <laughs> Car's a lot squirrelier even than anything else that I've driven in this Top Gear Challenge so far. Whoa, it is not sticking to the tarmac well at all. May have, to go, SUV to go off -road. The EAT may have to go back to the outside cockpit view. To smooth out lumps and bumps and everyday obstacles. Ancient burial mounds, for example. Turn sharp left. 
Try and uh, flip. Let's try to turn outside of that car. Took it too far. In 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. I think this thing is deceptively fast. Yards, and turn left. It's just going much faster than I think it is often from uh, the way it feels. Thread the needle. In 400 yards, turn sharp left. Got a little over turn two and a half left. minutes. It also has 340 horsepower, more torque than a cruise ship, and gets to 60 miles an hour in just over five seconds. Yeah, it's hard to keep all that power on the pavement there. I'm not in the mud. Uh, I think I'm actually going to have a better go of it up here. Probably helps that I've been playing a lot of dirt. The rally car racing simulator recently. I'm playing Dirt Rally, Dirt 4, Dirt Rally 2.0. So I need to make sure I don't go flying off the mountain here. I'm driving in the in cockpit view a lot more than I normally would, so that is uh, giving me a little bit of a challenge and making me extremely nervous about, like I said, the going flying off the mountain here. Doing fine on time. Time to head way over there to the very top of Arthur's seat. But first, I hate what goes this. Must come down. Do I still have the same allotted amount of time? That's such crap. I come on, 5.7 miles to make it in five minutes. Like, it would be hard enough to manage my time if I even knew that I had to go to the top of the map and come back down. Much less when you don't know. Now. In 400 yards, turn left. And I would even contemplate uh, just trying to drive it in a straight line and go cross country, but I can't see straight line between here and there. Wait, what did I miss? Oh, don't hit the rock! Alright. Deer! <laughs> That's some proper hang time. Actual air suspension. No. Oh. Route. Yeah, there was no way I was going to make it anyway, so... Oh, house. Mud. Water. Well, it is a Mercedes wagon. Oh, no. no. And if you really want to smash stuff up, there's even a pickaxe in the back. In 400 yards, <laughs> turn right. I mean, nobody ever said that I couldn't go cross country. I just can't, uh, I can't tell what's going on here. Sitting inside the car view like that. Hey, what's going on, Scarlet? Thanks for the lurk. It's full of home comforts, the EAT. Charges for almost You're catching me not at my best. Cozy ambient lighting. Have a good stream tonight. I assume that you are... Everything the intrepid explorer could ever need. In your pre-game ritual right now. Uh, is that a? No, nope, it's not a train. There's a tunnel. I would like to get off here. I can't tell. Uh, lights. Uh, the, the house, outhouse, homes. Uh, brick wall. 
and I can't get through that. Great. In 400 yards, turn right. Whoops. Happens to the best of us. One more go should do it. Got some trash. Guess we'll try it again. The EAT has a silky smooth V6 diesel. Now that I know, I have to come down the mountain. On the road, but where we're going, we won't need roads. First up, it's a trip to the top of Glen Rannoch. By any means I think what I really need to do, or once I see the destination, once I have a straight line of sight, I think that was it. I was it out over there. I think I'm just going to try and go across country. I don't know how you make it. Otherwise, all right. Let's go ahead and risk it. Uh, it's really windy over here. Oh no no no! <laughs> Who says you need an SUV to go off road? The EAT has four wheel drive and air suspension to smooth out lumps and bumps and everyday obstacles. And Tree density is really bad. Were there were those bears? Well, it is a Mercedes wagon, so it's. <laughs> and if you really want to smash stuff up, there's even a pickaxe in the back. Alright, let's uh, take the road for a little bit here. I have to watch the replay on the VOD. I think those are bears that I passed in the forest. Oh! Oh! In 400 yards, I need a straight line B to the target. Where is uh, my destination? Turn sharp left. Get off. Go, 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 go. In 200 yards. Turn right. This is actually an instance where uh, monitoring the stream is actually screwing me up because I see In 200 yards, turn I'm right. driving the straight line, but I see the car turn sideways. Turn left. Okay. Okay, nope. Let's go off road. Very risky. Now, if this doesn't work out, I'm done for the night. Actual air suspension. In 400 yards, turn risky. Oh. Okay. Mountains over there, we're gonna cut through. It also has 340 horsepower, more torque than a cruise ship, and gets to 60 miles an hour in just over five seconds. Oh. Uh, it's amazing that I didn't hit a tree. Okay, we're on the off road. Way to go. Let's push it up this hill. As I've been playing a lot of rally recently, let's uh, put those skills to use. I have not been playing a ton of uh, road race driving games, but I have been playing a good amount of rally. Okay, that's weird. I felt like the physics engine just like hopped there for a split second. There's still, there's no way. I'm still going to get up here and only have two minutes to get down the mountain. Now it's time to head way over there, to the very top of Arthur's seat. But first, right. what goes up must come down. Maybe this is what you got to do. Uh, oh, no. Shut up. Tell me to turn around. The car's out of control. I ain't got nothing. Where's my... Where's my... Okay. Left side. Oh. It's daytime now, so I may have an easier go. Picking my way through this. Did I hit a kangaroo? I hope I didn't hit a kangaroo. It's 
trees, trees, trees. Charges for almost anything you can charge. Cozy ambient lighting, even a portable espresso. Watch the trees. The intrepid explorer could ever need. What's gonna mess me up is when I get to this brick wall. Is that Edinburgh over there? Might be. Nope, don't tell me to. Don't tell me to U turn. Football field. Bench. Airborne. Brick wall. Can't do that. Gotta go around. In 400 yards, turn right. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, 2.2 miles. Recalculating. With 30 seconds left. All right, all this adventure kits had a tiny effect on the fuel efficiency. Good job the roof rack holds two cans of diesel, and there's another one in the back. Just don't confuse them with your drinking water. At the roundabout, take the third exit. What? But, uh, I think at best I have another minute. Got 1.5 miles to go. It is feasible that I can make it. Game's starting to give me the, uh, you've almost made it music. Or maybe that's just the radio station I have up. 34 seconds to make just under a mile. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Don't need Bottom any roundabout. Oh, come on. matter of getting up Arthur's seat. The clock's ticking, so better step on it, Stiggy. Ah. Yards. Turn left. Oh, can I cut across here? Come on, come on, come on. No, you're not gonna make it. Take as long as you like. I've got nothing else to do. Flip it, eh? That's a straight. Ugh. All right, well that's gonna do it for me. Unfortunately, it's uh, pushing too late. I'm gonna have to come back and try this again Thursday night. So, like I said, I'm gonna take tomorrow night off from gaming. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then I'll be back uh, Thursday night, undoubtedly playing Forza Horizon 4. Pretty sure will be the plan. So until next time, thanks so much for joining in for anybody who happened to swing through the, the live stream. Thank you so much, Scarlet, for coming through and giving the look. If you happen to be watching the archive version of this video on the YouTube channel, Rounding Off Infinity, I appreciate you as well. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can just receive a notification whenever I post new content. Until next time, good hunting. Take care of yourself. Stay safe out there. Play the games that you like and stream the games that you love. Once again, my name has been a guest. Can say much for the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube and the E2KG Network podcasting channel on YouTube. That's going to do it for me for tonight. Good night, good luck, and good gaming. I'm out.